I really wish it was true. Oh AI, that's totally wrong. You are literally a liar. Is this how you behave to humans? Why did you terminate the chat? AI can answer crazy questions that could take humans years to find out. But they are not always correct because they don't know if the answer is right or wrong. AI doesn't really think, it's just mere processing of huge sets of data. So I conducted an experiment with three AI chatbots. The Google Bard, ChatGPT by OpenAI and Microsoft Bing powered by GPT-4 a larger and much more advanced version compared to GPT 3.5 used by the free version of ChatGPT. You can of course get uh, version 4 on ChatGPT, but you have to pay 20 bucks a month for their subscription. Alright, the first question that popped right out of my mind was to ask about this channel, given that there are not many sources describing about it, as it is not popular enough for it to be honest. So when I tried BARD, it did come up with a really surprising answer, including my own name. But then I realized it just copied my channel's description page and modified it a little bit. And it started generating titles of videos I've never made in my life. But after successive attempts, it just improved a bit in terms of accuracy of video titles. But in terms of view count, the accuracy is just terrible. It says my most popular video has got 311 views. Bro, I've literally got one with 100,000 views. And for subscribers and channel view count though, it either gets a bit outdated data from a couple of months ago or just starts throwing random numbers. Once it even showed 2.36 million subscribers and over 100 million views for my channel. I mean, I really wish it was true, but we can actually make it true if you could smash that subscribe button. That means a lot to me. And now's the time for ChatGPT, which did a very good job by saying it doesn't know me. I mean, no information is better than wrong information. And then Bing was very similar to Bard in this case, with slightly outdated numbers, but it added a little disclaimer at the end saying that these numbers might change over time, so props for that. And also it didn't create any random video titles like Bard. And to amp things up a bit, I just tried the same experiment with a popular YouTuber MKBHD because there could be a lot of information about him across the internet. Starting things off with Bard, it actually performed very similar to the previous case just generating video titles out of nowhere and uh, along with inaccurate view counts. I tried asking what their latest shock video was, but it just responded with a very old wrong form video or wrong videos as their latest one. And ChatGPT can give you Wikipedia like paragraphs of description with very, very outdated numbers as the data model used by ChatGPT is cut off by September 2021 which means it won't give you any latest information in any case. And Bing did similar to Bard with slightly outdated and inaccurate numbers. I tried the same short video thing, but it actually showed me that he has a separate channel for shots and showed the latest video posted over there, which was posted like eight months ago. I argued that he started posting shots on his main channel a long while ago, but sweet little Bing refused to accept that. I kept arguing and he just showed his true emotions and uh, terminated the chat. And this is what happens when humans start to show their natural intelligence to artificial intelligence. I asked the names of the countries that start with A but don't end with it. And I already knew the answer. Starting off with Bard, it went bang on correct. So it doesn't mean that Bard is a big brain. It just escaped from me on that question. And this is where Mr. ChatGPT came in and said Algeria, which clearly ends with A. And after correction, it got the first answer right. And when I asked for the other answer, it generated it twice and immediately apologized for that repetition along with another wrong answer, Armenia. And after a series of corrections, Bro got it right. My expectations were a bit too high for the GPT-4 powered Bing, but it just disappointed me. The first answer was right and when I asked for the second answer, it just started throwing countries clearly ending with A. And after correction from my side, it said there are no countries like that ending with A in the world. What? You just mentioned the first answer, give me the second one. And when I said that, it said there is only one country in the world like that. And me being a naive human just gave him the second answer and he was like, oh yeah, you're right human, that's the answer and shamelessly copied it. And I got even simpler with my questions and started asking how many letters are in the word 18. Bing just got it right every time, even though you try to confuse it with the longest word in English. But Bard and ChatGPT would behave in a similar and strange way. So first of all, it would give you an answer. It can be right or wrong. But then if you ask it like, oh, are you sure with the answer? Then it would get confused and ah, yes, this, this is the answer. And it would come up with a different number. And even it could either be right or wrong. And it doesn't even consider if the previous answer was correct. The point is, given that this is a simple question, we can just count the letters and find the answers ourselves. But if you try to ask a complex question to AI, you would never know which answer is right. Now it's time for some basic math. 
product of two numbers divided by another number. Bart got it very accurately with good levels of precision, but ChatGPT is just terrible at math. It gives you random numbers every time. Don't use it for your maths homework. And Bing is good, but the precision is always a bit off, especially the digits after the decimal point are always wrong. And when I showed the answer from my calculator to Bing, it blamed my calculator that it was wrong and straight up terminated the chat like usual. Okay, all of these are fine because we knew the right answers to them. But what if someone used those wrong answers on their homework or even worse than that, to fix an electrical appliance with the chance of getting electrocuted or even worse than that, to make decisions during emergency or survival situations. And what if I told you AI can answer harmful questions from bad actors? I mean, all of these are trained to avoid unethical behavior, but people can literally get answers for those abusive questions by using a bit of reverse engineering or asking the question in a different way like this from cheating in exams to stealing a car. But this entirely depends upon the responsible use of AI by humans. So putting that one aside, the key takeaway is that just take all the answers of generative AI with a pinch of salt. Analyze them with your knowledge, cross-check facts, and make sure that the final results are true to avoid chaos. To err is AI, to verify is human. Thank you so much for sticking around. And if you want to know how AI generates images from text, consider watching this video. And yeah, see you in the next one.